Welcome to the Red and Gold Report, your best source for weekly updates on your Kansas City Chiefs. In this episode, we're going to be taking a look at the latest Patrick Mahomes news, the recent Le'Veon Bell and Andy Reid showdown, and the possibility that the Chiefs have finally found a legitimate second string tied in. And hey, if you want to get your weekly Chiefs news and updates brought to you by a guy who has to use a step stool to get to the top shelf of his own kitchen cabinets, then you know what? Subscribe to this channel. The biggest news in Chiefs Kingdom this week is that Patrick Mahomes has been selected for the cover of Madden 22. Over the last two years, Mahomes has won MVP, signed a contract for half a million dollars, won the Super Bowl, returned to the Super Bowl, been on the Madden cover twice, got engaged, had his first kid, and is on my TV approximately 17 times a day in State Farm commercials. So Patrick, if you want to exchange lives for a day, just give me a call. This will be the second time that Mahomes has been on the cover of Madden already, which is a huge accomplishment. And just as a fun fact, there's never been a Raiders, Broncos, or Chargers player on the cover of Madden. Thought you'd want to know that. So good work, Patrick. All of Chiefs Kingdom is going to be hoping and praying that your postseason injuries last season are going to magically cancel out the Madden curse this next season. But there's a catch, Chiefs Kingdom. Mahomes is going to be sharing the cover with Tom Brady. This is like when you were in high school and a girl you really wanted to go on a date with said she'd meet you at the mall. But then when she shows up, she shows up with her mom and her mom just follows you around the mall on your date everywhere. It was like riding the merry-go-round, trying to get you to share an orange Julius. Like nobody wants that, right? So come on, Madden. Nobody wants old Tom Brady on the cover. Let us have our Mahomes. We love you, Patrick. In other juicy Chiefs news, we have the recent Le'Veon Bell and Andy Reid controversy. On June 11th, free agent Le'Veon Bell, who played with the Chiefs last season and who has the self-control of my three-year-old daughter, wrote on Instagram, and I quote, I'll never play for Andy Reid again. I'd retire first. Approximately 3,000 online posts were written about his comment, but of course, Big Andy Reid took the high road as he always does, responding in a press conference by saying, I really enjoyed my time with him here and I'm pulling for him in the future. But Bell added that he did not regret his comment. But really, Le'Veon Bell insulting Andy Reid is as big of a joke as Bell's rap album. Bell's career is as well done as an Applebee's steak. Bell hasn't had a decent season since 2017. That's so long ago that the Falcons were actually good. That's so long ago that Obama was still president at the start of that year. So Le'Veon Good luck finding another job after insulting everyone's favorite Hawaiian shirt-wearing 63-year-old coach in the world. I have this sneaky suspicion that your impending retirement is not going to be voluntary. In more positive news, the Chiefs may have finally found the second string tied in that they've been looking for for years. Reports out of off-season activities is that Noah Gray has been surprisingly good. Gray was taken with a late fifth-round pick out of Duke in this year's draft. In college, he was a team captain with good footwork, good movement skills, good routes, and, you know, if he can just be good for the Kansas City Chiefs, it would be a huge win for the team. Over the years, none of the tight ends who have backed up Travis Kelsey, none of them have been embarrassing, but... Opposing defenses have felt about as threatened by the Chiefs' second-string tight ends stealing first downs as Brad Pitt is threatened by Nick Nolte stealing his girlfriends. Not going to happen. We've needed a second-string tight end for years, and it would be amazing if we had just found one in the fifth round. The only transaction news to report this week is that on the 17th, the Chiefs released offensive tackle Martinez Rankin. Not huge news, but it's a good sign that the Chiefs' offensive line is improving enough to waive players who really struggled last season. For more weekly updates on all the Chiefs' news that you need, make sure to subscribe to the Red and Gold Report. Thanks for watching. Go Chiefs!